coast to coast, large public gatherings and major events have been cancelled. Employees have been told to work from home, universities have moved to all classes online and elementary schools have closed for sanitizing. The stock market has seen meteoric crashes. Declarations of emergency are being proclaimed. And New York has deployed the National Guard to the hard, hit city of New Rochelle, north of New York City. As the number of confirmed cases of illness grows, so too does the nation's collective uncertainty. Psychologists and public health experts say public anxiety is high, and it's largely fueled by a feeling of powerlessness. Feel, oh my god, there's a new boogeyman out there, it comes with extra fear, said David Ropeek, an expert on risk communication. When we don't understand something that leaves us feeling like we do not know everything. We need to know to protect ourselves that equates to powerlessness, vulnerability. Part of what drives feelings of anxiety is a lack of information. The virus is new, and there remain many questions about the illness it causes. Most people haven't had it, nor do they know someone who has experts say that matters. We understand the flu, we have personal experience with it that makes it less scary, Bufka said we know what to expect with something like that as humans we can read information, hear information from others and take all that in, but personal experience makes a difference.